Welcome to Manchester United Official TV. Here is the latest news on anything and everything United. Please be sure to subscribe for all the latest updates. Latest stories coming in. Three moments that prove Ralph Rangnick needs time at Manchester United after young boys draw. United drew one all with the Swiss side on Wednesday night and after the match, Rangnick was left unimpressed with some of his side's performance. New interim head coach Ralph Rangnick was less than impressed with aspects of his heavily rotated team performance on Wednesday evening, following their one-all draw against Swiss team Young Boys in the last match in the group stage of their Champions League campaign. Although Manchester United's draw against Young Boys and the result didn't matter, Ralph Rangnick was still left unhappy with his side's performance. Many of United's senior players were given the opportunity to rest ahead of the busy Christmas schedule, meaning some of the club's talented youngsters were called upon to impress. However, there were some clear flaws in United's display, and although we can't be overly critical of Rangnick's young side, it's evident that improvements have to be made. Here are three moments from Wednesday's draw that proved Rangnick will need time to teach the whole squad his way of playing football. Number one, sitting back. Rangnick said after the match that his team played well in the first 30 minutes. They played with energy and on the front foot, but lost position far too quickly, which led to them struggling to control the game. Sloppy play led to the superb equaliser by Fabian Ryder at the end of the first half and after the break, United seemed to revert to how they played under the previous manager's tenure. Rangnick spoke about his frustration after the game, saying In the last 10 minutes of the first half, we played more or less like the team played in the weeks before. We were less proactive we were dropping back too far. What annoyed me most was the way we played to the pressing first line, so we sent quite a few pressing invitations to them, including the goal we conceded. We had the chance to not only clear the ball, but play the ball forward twice, but we didn't. They had the opportunity to score the equaliser. Clearly, it's going to be Rangnick's way, or no way. Number two, fitness. As with the match at Crystal Palace, there was a huge drop off in the second half. This could be down to the new all guns firing system Rangnick demands from his teams, but highlighted the need for more advanced fitness and stamina. It's obvious that some of the players need time to get to grips with the new pressing system and increase their fitness and training regimes, otherwise their future at Old Trafford could be limited. Number 3. Opportunities There were two moments in the first half that showed where United need to improve in the final third. Yes, this was a team that had never played together competitively before, but even more vital to prove to the manager that they can step in when needed. Ahmad, who was positioned on the right of Rangnick's front line, missed an early shot on goal, and Mata also wasted a great chance, and both should have done better. Rangnick is aware he needs to consolidate United's attacking options rather than just rely on the legendary Cristiano Ronaldo to keep winning the games for them, even though the Portuguese legend is happy to comply. There needs to be an overhaul of the squad, especially in the final third, and that's why Rangnick has been hired. So we will wait and we will see. But what do you think? Use the comments below to let us know. 
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest Old Trafford news, results, transfer speculation and match information.